I'm Sophia. Hey, um, where's Brooklyn? Uh, you're late. My bad, I had to get my handcuffs up. I'm Brooklyn. And, and we're, we're bringing you the latest. latest. Here, Here we, we go. go. Here we go. Welcome back, Canes. We hope everyone is enjoying their classes. Speaking of classes, we have a new subject this year. That's right, the criminal justice class. Let's see what that's all about. I'm Officer Terrell. I'm from the River Beach Police Department, and I'm currently assigned to Inlet Grove High School. Uh, my current assignment is to teach the criminal justice program. The uh, reason why we decided to bring this program to Inlet Grove High School is because we want to recruit in our own backyard. We want to make, I'm sorry, we want to make or bring up the next law enforcement officers in our own hometown. Meet Officer Terrell, a dedicated member of the Revere Beach Police Department, who's taking his commitment to public service into the classroom. As a part of criminal justice program at Inlet Grove High School, Officer Terrell imparts real-world knowledge about our legal system, ethics, and community safety. So some of the things that we're doing in this class, I'm teaching you how to make do traffic stops, I'm teaching you how to make an arrest, I'm teaching you why are you making that arrest. I'm also teaching you the behind the reasons why law enforcement officers do what they do. Through his engaging teaching style, he's not just educating students, he's inspiring future leaders in law enforcement and beyond. Officer Terrell, shaping minds, fostering a safer tomorrow. <laughs> that class seems quite interesting. It definitely was for me. The LPN class hosted a health fair for what it takes to be a nurse. Since we've seen what an officer does, Let's see what they're up to. students are checking vitals, they're checking height and weight, doing kind of measurements to, to track the progress of the PE students. So we'll come back and measure them at the end of the semester, see if there's progress, see if there's anyone lost weight, gained weight, you know, gained muscle mass, looking for looking for positive changes. So Inlet Grove High School recently held a remarkable health fair organized by Nurse Hartung's JPN class in their gymnasium. The event was a successful collaboration with the physical education class, emphasizing the importance of holistic well-being. Students and staff gathered to engage in various health assessments, including blood pressure tests and body mass index calculations. The atmosphere buzzed with energy as participants eagerly learned about their health metrics and gained valuable insights into their fitness. The fair's interactive approach allowed attendees to actively participate in informative discussions about maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Through this innovative initiative, Inlet Grove High School showcased its commitment to fostering both physical and mental wellness within its community. What are some things that you like most about um, Maybe the people and the teachers. I yes. think I think definitely definitely more of your classmates. Everyone is close together. Most of the time, you have like almost all your classes with them. And then, if you're not like un if you're unsure of something, like your classmates are always there to help you and help you understand it. It's really nice. Yeah. So your body mass index, your average scale is 18 to 25 is normal. Uh, 26 to 30 is overweight and 30 plus is obese. So just we would tell our patients if that's okay, if they're on a good scale um, with their weight or their height or whatever they're going on with. We all know the students are smart. <laughs> but are you, are you smarter, smarter than, than a fifth grader? Hello, I'm Jordan with Grove Watch TV and I'm here asking Inlet Grove students if they are smarter than a fifth grader. Do you think you're smarter than a fifth grader? No. Yes. Yeah. I should be. No, sir. Okay, what is the largest city in America? New York. Oh, um, I think. 
Chicago. Chicago. Los Angeles. It can't be a larger city. It could be like a larger state. I think. Miami. Gotta be New York City. Can't there you go. City. There you go. Name all seven continents. North America, South America. Asia, Africa. What are you running for? Ain't that, like, ain't that the ocean, ain't it? Like... Australia, Antarctica? What president is on a $100 bill? Benjamin Franklin. Ain't his last name like Jefferson? Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin. He's not, he's not a president, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> Barack Obama. <laughs> How many presidents came after Benjamin Franklin? 10. 30, 36, 36, 36. 45. Oh, that was his name. I don't know. How many feet is in the yard? Access. Three. How many feet in the yard? Three. three. Oh, three. Got one yard. Twelve. Now for some final announcements. The Title I annual meeting will be held August 31st at 6 p.m. in the auditorium. Make sure to come and check it out. Some bad news as of right now, there is no Jeans Day. But the first pep rally is being planned in September. Definitely something you don't want to miss. One last thing to remember, no hoodies or no phones. Well, that's it for this week, Kane. Stay tuned for next one. And thanks for tuning in on, on Grow Watch TV. TV.